Well, gentlemen, it is spring or summer, depending on where you currently are at, which means that we're going to be spending a lot more time as guys outside with the sun beating down on our bald heads. And what we do not want them to burn. So that means that we need to protect them somehow. And the, one of the easiest ways to do so is with sunscreen. But there's a whole bunch of different options and a whole bunch of things that we need to take into consideration when we are looking for a sunscreen for our bald head. Now the first thing that we want to pay attention to when it comes to sunscreen is the sun protection factor or SPF. But what does SPF really mean? Well, it's basically measurement of time of how long it takes you to start to burn without sunscreen, opposed to how long it will take you to burn with a sunscreen. So basically, let's say that you usually take about 10 minutes to start to turn red in the sun. Well, then you go outside with the sunscreen on, let's say that it is SPF. 30, that 10 minutes gets turned into 300, provided that you are applying the sunscreen every two-ish hours or whatever is recommended on the bottle of sunscreen that you get. As you can see on this chart, SPF 30 blocks about 97% of UV rays, which means that it lets in one of every 30 UV rays to hit your skin where SPF 100 allows one of every 100 UV rays. So it gives about 99% protection. You can also see that the difference between SPF 30 and SPF 100 is not a lot. So it's probably not really worth paying the uh, much higher price for the SPF 100. The SPF that you will need also depends on your skin color. The darker you are, the lighter SPF that you will need. So basically no sunscreen is going to completely make it so you don't burn at all. It just prolongs the amount of time that you can be out in the sun before you eventually do burn. Now for a bald head, it's recommended that we use at least an SPF of 30. However, I would recommend probably a 50 and now that we know that we want our sunscreen to be between 30 and 50 SPF, we need to figure out what kind of coverage we want. Because where most sunscreens will cover UVB, it'll let UVA right through. And UVA affects things like skin discoloration as well as aging. So if you want to protect both the surface skin as well as the skin underneath, you will need a broad spectrum sunscreen. This will also help with giving an additional layer to help protect against skin cancers. The next thing you want to pay attention to on that bottle of sunscreen is the water resistance because we sweat quite a bit off of our head, so we don't want it to be running down and off of our head, so we're losing that protection, and you definitely don't want it running into your eyes, because believe me, that is not comfortable. Been there, done that, and I don't want to do it again. So therefore, getting a water-resistant sunscreen is gonna adhere that sunscreen to your head so that it will last as long as that it's meant to, as well as it will allow you to go swimming without burning your head quite as bad as well. Now, because we also wanna look our best while we are out in the sun, you also wanna pay attention to if the uh, sunscreen is going to have kind of a greasy texture to it or a heavy feel. Think like the uh, standard sunscreens that we used to all use when we were kids. They're kind of greasy and definitely have kind of a heavy texture to them. So what you're gonna to wanna to look for is something that is probably made also for the face because that's going to reduce the amount of greasiness as well as it's gonna typically be a bit lighter so you don't feel it all the time on your head and on your face. And now you might be thinking, well, my skin is really sensitive. I don't know if I want to be putting sunscreen on and stuff. Well, lucky for you, there is sunscreen that is specifically made for sensitive skin as well as those people that have allergies. You're going to want to look for ones that say dermatologist tested or something along those lines as well as, of course, made for sensitive skin as these sunscreens are gonna be made to minimize the irritation on such skin types. 
And the last thing that you need to really look into when you are picking up a sunscreen for your head is some personal preference type thing such as if it has a fragrance, what kind of application it has, is it in a spray bottle type thing or is it your standard cream? Or even is it gonna leave a matte or shine to your head? These are all things that will be a personal preference to each individual person depending on the look and their personal preferences. So make sure that you are looking at the ones that you may want or prefer. But now what if you're not at a store or a gas station or wherever when you are picking up the sunscreen and you're actually planning ahead? Well, lucky for you, down in the video description, I have two links for you. One is for a 50 SPF from Headblade, and the other is a 30 SPF from Be Bald. And I think that both of those options should be pretty good options for you as they are formulated for a bald head. Now you might be saying, I don't really like to wear sunscreen, so how can I protect my head? Well, honestly, the best way to do that is to put on a hat. Now what happens if you already forgot your sunscreen and now you're dealing with a burnt head? Well, you're gonna wanna check out this video up here where I'll walk you through how to take care of that burnt head of yours. Down below, that's gonna be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.